Kong, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Craig, for having me. BioV is developing transformative therapies targeting unmet medical needs in chronic debilitating conditions. Let's start with an overview of your pipeline. We're very excited about our late stage pipeline, which gives us multiple shots on goal. We've just started our phase 2B program for terlipressin continuous infusion for refractory ascites. We will soon also start our phase 3 program for NE3107 for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease and our programs for Parkinson's, multiple myeloma, and prostate cancer will start all within the next 12 months. Kong, you recently received authorization from the FDA to commence that phase three trial in Alzheimer's. What can you tell us about that program and what milestones should investors in expect? Let me start by pointing out that inflammation and the associated insulin resistance has been implicated by many diseases and Alzheimer's is a leading example of that. Any 3107 is a very unique selective inhibitor of a protein kinase called ERK. Selective because it blocks only the pro-inflammatory cascade and the associated insulin resistance via ERK and the activation of NF-kappa B. Unique in that it does not interfere with ERK's homeostasis functions, right, which is activated by a different mechanism, pathway RAF. RAS and MEC. So as a result, any 3107 reduces inflammation, it reduces insulin resistance, thereby enhances insulin sensitivity, and we believe that increases cognition. We are starting the phase three program this summer and will read out at the end of 2022. You are currently enrolling a phase two B study in cirrhosis of the liver targeting refractory ascites. When do you expect to report data from this trial and how big is the market opportunity? Currently 20,000 patients suffer from refractory ascites in the US and there's never been an FDA approved drug for refractory ascites. So as a result, these patients only options are very complicated um, surgical procedure called TIPS or liver transplant, right? So this we believe creates about a $650 million addressable market of which we would expect to capture about two thirds or about $450 million US peak sales. When you look at the market globally, we believe this would be closer to a billion dollar um, for ascites alone. We will also start a trial for another indication, related indication called HRS AKI, which will bring another opportunity for $650 million peak sales. As of now, we have activated four of our nine planned sites. And we expect to enroll all 30 of our patients in this phase two trial this summer. And since this is a six month follow study, we expect to have data readout of the phase two in early 2022, right? And the phase three study will soon thereafter and thereby reading out by the end of 2023. Kong, I know you were recently named CEO of BioV. Congratulations very much on that. What can you tell us about your management team and board and who are some of the key players? Thank you for that. I'm very excited to be joining BioV at this very um, critical time. We've assembled a very experienced management team at BioV. Each person on the leadership team has at least 30 years of experience at biopharma. Jonathan Adams, who started the precursor company to BioV, has shepherded Terlipressin from its original idea in inception to where it is today, right? And from um, Nurmedics or acquisition of Nurmedics assets, Chris Redding and, Al and Clarence Alum have likewise worked at Nurmedics from the beginning on this program that led to 3107. So these individuals know every aspect about these molecules and every aspect of developing the product. We also have a very experienced board um, of biotech executives, right? Including Taryn Pizer, Steve Gorlin, Bob Harari, Jim Lang. And frankly, I've lost track of how many dozens of companies that these individuals have either started, been the CEO of, or have been a senior executive of. Kong, let's sum up with a look at the big picture behind BioV. What is the essential value proposition and why should investors take an interest in BioV? Terlipressin has the potential to be approved as the first product to treat refractory ascites in the United States. In markets in Europe and Asia, Terlipressin has been shown to be highly efficacious. Right? And our version, our continuous infusion version of telepressin has been shown to be more safe and, and reduces the safety events. So in our mind, BIV201 or our version of telepressin 
is a low risk program in our mind. This has high likelihood of success. Any 3107 is the molecule that we will be getting from Neuromedics. I see this as a pipeline in a molecule. It is the first in class inhibitor of pathologic inflammation and insulin resistance. As a result of that, it is applicable in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and various oncology programs. And in reality, if any one of these programs hit, that will become a billion dollar plus opportunity. And so for us, we will start to have data readouts in early 2022, and we'll then have ensuing readouts over the coming 24 months. So for shareholders, we believe the next 24 months will be quite exciting as we provide additional data readouts and information on how these trials are unfolding as we have more data. That is a compelling story, Kong. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me today.